Let's talk about the concept of jouissance. Jouissance is a French word, and Jacques Lacan is most famous for using it quite frequently in his own thought, and he generally insisted that it should remain untranslated. Um, if we were to translate it, it tends to get translated more as the word enjoyment, which I, I think is a decent translation. It's, it's, it's a good word. It's also something that we use um, and not not quite as many contexts as pleasure. And the thing is that we need to contrast jouissance with pleasure. In order to understand jouissance, we need to be able to compare pleasure and pain. We need to talk about the relationship between those two things. So when I think about pleasure, I generally think about Freud's pleasure principle. And I think about pleasurable activities. Things like drinking a cup of coffee, relaxing, maybe laying on the couch... Uh, this will say a lot about me, watching anime. Um, I think that for me, pleasure has this connotation of calming the mind down, um, releasing myself from the busy, anxious thoughts that tend to come over me. Um, but there is a relationship between pleasure and pain where in some way they kind of end up on this, uh, on this spectrum where... Pleasure can become pain, and pain can become pleasure kind of on this Mobius strip. And I think that that's what Jouissance is trying to get at, is there's this relationship between pain and pleasure where a pleasure can include pain. And, but at that, at that point, it's not so much pleasure. Freud's concept of the pleasure principle is this idea of that the mind is continually searching for a lower state of energy. So it's you know, as it's excited, it enters this high energy state and it wants to come back down again. So, you know, this idea of a massage, maybe like a relaxing drink, sitting by the pool, these are pleasurable things and they kind of bring the energy back down. Um, but we also describe things like sex or sexual activity as pleasurable. And yet clearly sexual activity in a lot of ways is an increase of tension. I mean, the feeling of arousal is, you know, you're... Um, your face gets flushed, you start to sweat, you feel this surge of energy. Um, it's almost like everything is tingling. So um, there's this, I think that sexual activity really does capture something of what's going on with jouissance, where the body is intentionally heightening its own levels of energy and that this uh, admittedly uncomfortable and painful experience is at the same time pleasurable. And the Greeks described ejaculation uh, like the blood boiling and that um, the ejaculation was the boiling over of the body, which is a really interesting image, actually. I got that from Foucault's History of Sexuality, Volume 2, I think. So this is kind of the direction that we're going when we talk about enjoyment. We're talking about the body's intentional excitation and the raising of levels of excitation. And so there's this contrast between the pleasure principle and jouissance, this raising of intensity to enjoyment. Um, and it, sexual activity does seem to be one of these core activities, but there's plenty of others I could think about. You know, imagine driving a fast car, um, pushing your body to the limit in a workout. These things are intensely pleasurable. Famously, Foucault was hit by a car, and he said that it was the most pleasurable experience of his life. He experienced something of this, this borderlands of jouissance where um, it, it's this mystical intensity that the body experiences. So that's just kind of a little intro to jouissance. I'll probably talk about it more. Um, it's a really important concept. I think it's really interesting. And thanks for listening. I hope that you found this valuable.